Hi, we're the Stillwells. I'm Scott. I'm Caitlin. And this is... Let's go Stillwell! Well, when we found out we were pregnant with Oliver, it was a total surprise. <laughs> we, uh, we were both young, uh, but we wanted to be parents. Uh, we made a pact for then and there uh, that we were going to do anything that it took to give Oliver the best possible life. Well, my grandfather's favorite play was Oliver Twist. The name just stuck. It was perfect because Oliver himself is just a ham. Oliver was very tenacious from the start. He lifted his head up on his own right after he was born when they placed him on my chest. And it was as if he were to say, hi, how are you? As a baby, Oliver was always happy and he was constantly moving and investigating new things. But when Oliver started crawling, instead of a typical crawling position, he did kind of like an army crawl, um, where his right hand would always be the one to bring his body up, um, and then his left hand would come up a little short. Even the way he held his bottle was unusual. He always kept his left hand clenched in support of the bottle, um, and I immediately felt something was off. That's when we received the diagnosis of schizencephaly. Schizencephaly is a rare birth condition that impacts the way the brain is formed. For Oliver, it's caused him to have partial paralysis in his left arm and leg. He has really tight muscles on his left side and has a hard time independently controlling that side of his body. When the specialist told us that Oliver was most likely never going to have full function of the left uh, side of his body, um, it was a really heavy blow. Um, they said that he was probably going to struggle uh, with fine motor skills for his entire life and that he was probably going to need surgery as well, which was really difficult. Um, it was like standing at the starting line of a lifetime of difficult choices and decisions that we were going to have to make raising a child that has special needs. Schizencephaly hasn't been studied much. It was frightening that there was so little known about it. And on top of it all, uh, Oliver has ADHD. He struggled in typical preschool environments and was unfortunately asked to leave uh, four different schools before we found Starfish Academy uh, at the Florida Center. Starfish Academy has been awesome. Oliver not only receives occupational therapy, but also social emotional support from Stephanie and the mental health therapist and all of the staff here. The therapist work directly with his teacher and provide care for all of his challenges. All his therapy happens during his regular school day, which is great as working parents. So I met with Oliver's parents and we came up with a plan to help him. He's highly intelligent, but he had trouble sitting still and often challenged rules. So we worked on impulse control issues, and once he learned how to better focus, he became much more successful in meeting his physical and developmental goals. When Oliver first came to occupational therapy, his physical disability was delaying his independence. Think about how frustrating it must be to be potty trained, but be unable to remove your clothes through the bathroom. It was affecting his growth and his self-esteem. Over the past two years, we've worked on Oliver's physical deficiencies through stretching out his tight muscles, improving his fine motor skills, and overall increasing how independent he is. I'm excited to say that he has now reached his full physical ability with his left hand. He can dress himself and do most everything his peers are able to do. It's been amazing to watch Oliver make so much progress and overcome so many obstacles. We feel so relieved knowing that Oliver is no longer behind developmentally and seeing him now, his happiness, independence, and the level of personal confidence, it's all we ever hoped for, with or without a disability. We know that he has the capacity to do all the things that he wants to do in life without physical limitations getting in the way. And that is just an amazing feeling uh, for us as parents. Yeah. Before we found the Florida Center, life was isolated and as new parents with a disabled child, we felt so alone. Now things are a lot better when we feel empowered as parents um, that we have the tools and the knowledge and, and we have people in our corner willing to help us. And we're just so grateful for the family that we've become a part of with the Starfish Academy. Thank you Starfish Academy and the Florida Center for changing our son's life. And ours too.